So we've been doing an annual owl walk for the last five years. Uh, our goal is to go out into the forest at night and see what sort of owls that we can attract in to interact with us. We make a lot of effort to not harass the owls, but just to interact with them so that give people an opportunity to see an organism that most of us know about and hear about, but don't get the chance to see all the time. It is a lot of fun. You kind of get to go outside and see the owls face to face. Every other day you get to see a picture of an owl, but it's kind of crazy seeing them in real life really close up. It's a really cool just to get to see them in their natural habitat behaving and just you're the observer. If you know where to look and how to look, it turns out that nature contains a, a wealth of surprises. It just requires a little bit of effort. It's wonderful to be able to just walk out of a building here on campus and be in habitats for things like owls after just a couple of minutes. One of the things that I did as soon as I started at Ohio Dominican was instituted a museum collection here. Um, started gathering bird specimens. These are birds that have flown into windows or been hit by cars, um, things that have died naturally, but then we take them and prepare them as specimens so that students can have the advantage of seeing these birds up close, of interacting with them, and of actually preparing the specimens themselves. If we look at the leading edge of the wing, you can see that there are these filaments sticking up so that when the owl's flying through the air in the dark about to land on a prey item, that prey won't hear it coming. It's a lot more interesting to see them up close sometimes because you get to feel them and see the actual size than rather than from a distance. But it's not as cool as getting to see them out in the wild interacting, eating, flying. It's a lot easier to learn once you have like hands-on experience instead of just looking at it at a screen and writing down what you're learning, but being able to touch and see and feel and hear what you're going to be studying. 